Hi, stay tuned if you want to know what I think about this reflow oven. Recently I bought this infrared T962 reflow oven. My plan was to use it in my micro factory. I usually don't assemble more than 10 panels at once. I want a reflow oven that will give me repeatable results. I've watched old YouTube videos about, about this reflow oven and I was prepared to do some upgrades to it. Starting with replacing masking tape with uh, Campton tape, uploading new software and so on. But I tell you something, that was all waste of time. Effects were terrifying, incinerated board, waste, wasted time and money. As a last chance I decided to do one more modification, as most of my uh, problems seems to be with uh, uneven heating of the board, I thought circulation fan inside the unit would be great idea. But I save you time and tell you now, it was just a big waste of time. I will tell you what I think about this uh, oven. It's useless, full stop. If you're thinking to buy one, think again and then again, till you stop. But you will say, uh, some people have uh, good, good results with it. Yeah, it might be true for some who have a uh, tiny boards to reflow, but the problem is, infrared heats the board. The darker the color, the more heat it absorbs. Just think about it, where temperature sensors are in this machine, and you will know that air temperature and the board temperature are not the same. I might be wrong, but there is no commercial reflow oven that uses IR. So what to do? Get yourself commercial reflow oven. Yeah, I know they're bulky and uh, expensive as uh, you know what. Or if you're on a tight budget uh, as I am, you can use hot air station uh, with, uh, with quite good results. Or convert toaster oven. There is plenty instructions how to do it. Just stay away from uh, infrared ovens. You can watch my struggle to install this AC motor and fan. It wasn't fun when I found out it doesn't work. I've drilled three holes to mount the motor and one hole for a shaft. Then installed spacers. I had to drill holes in the bottom part for screwdriver. I had some problems with uh, aligning shaft through the hole. Then connected AC motor to mains using heat resistant wires. And pretty much what left to do is uh, assemble it back. I've attached I've attached thermocouple to PCB with a uh, Campton tape so we can cross-reference readings from PCB and uh, air temperature. You can see that both temperature are not the same. The other downsides of this uh, oven is you can't see when the solder melted.
please check out my other videos and subscribe for more. If you're thinking about this T962 rifle oven, don't. Thanks for watching, uh, see you next time.